A strange phenomenon is unfolding in the skies. A swarm of seven comet-like objects is now streaming into the inner solar system. Astronomers are calling it one of the most active comet seasons in recent memory. Two of these travelers have already swung past the sun, completing their perihelion, while the remaining five are set to do so before the year's end. Each of them will approach on a different trajectory, turning the final months of 2025 into a cosmic light show, and possibly an electromagnetic storm. Historically, surges of cometary activity have coincided with periods of heightened solar storms, flares, and coronal mass ejections, suggesting that these icy visitors don't just pass silently through space. They interact with the very heartbeat of our star. Among this swarm, one object stands apart, 3I Atlas. Unlike the others, it may not even be a comet in the traditional sense. Astronomers classify it as an interstellar object, the third ever detected after Oumuamua and Borisov. Its behavior is puzzling. Its coma is massive, roughly half the size of the sun, and it has been shedding gas and dust in a way that suggests intense activity even from great distances. Its nucleus is still poorly constrained, estimated anywhere from a few kilometers across to several dozen, but its orbit brings it just inside Mars's path before slinging it back into the depths of space. Adding to the intrigue is C-2025 R2 Swan, discovered on September 11th and already having completed its perihelion the very next day. What makes Swan fascinating is how its trajectory aligns with 3I Atlas, almost as if the two are performing a cosmic dance. Swan approaching Earth to within just 0.25 astronomical units on October 21st, while 3I Atlas passes behind the Sun in superior conjunction. For astronomers, this is more than coincidence. It's an opportunity to study the complex electromagnetic interactions between cometary plasma, solar wind, and the heliospheric current sheet. Forces that could trigger solar activity aimed right at us. On October 21st, an extraordinary alignment will take place. From Earth's point of view, 3I Atlas will slip behind the Sun in what astronomers call a superior conjunction, while Comet C-2025 R2 Swan makes its closest approach to our planet, just 0.25 astronomical units away, about 37 million kilometers. This isn't just a curious bit of orbital choreography. When an interstellar object as active as 3I Atlas passes behind the Sun, its massive coma, already half the diameter of the Sun, interacts with the solar wind and the heliospheric current sheet, the vast electromagnetic surface that extends throughout the solar system. The presence of Swan so near to Earth along the ecliptic plane at the very same time could mean we are about to witness a surge in solar disturbances from solar flares to coronal mass ejections. Historically, such alignments have correlated with periods of intense space weather. In fact, solar physicists have long debated whether incoming comets can trigger instabilities on the Sun's surface, acting as catalysts for eruptions by disturbing the Sun's magnetic environment. This October's cosmic alignment may provide one of the best tests of that hypothesis in decades. And the drama does not end there. This autumn, we are witnessing a veritable parade of comets, each on a different trajectory, each adding complexity to the already turbulent electromagnetic environment of the inner solar system. C-2025 Ah R2 Swan, having just completed its perihelion on September 12th, is still bright enough to be seen with binoculars under dark skies. Its tail, over five times the apparent width of the moon, already shows signs of interaction with the solar wind, occasionally distorting and even partially disconnecting under the pressure of charged particles streaming from the sun. Just two weeks after Swan's closest approach, on September 27th, Comet 414P, Stereo, will swing by the sun at a mere 0.52 astronomical units, dipping below the ecliptic plane as it arcs past perihelion. Only days later, on October 8th, another object, xc 2025 k one Atlas, will make an even closer pass, just 0.33 astronomical units from the Sun, placing it inside the orbit of Mercury. Objects this close often become extremely active, 
shedding large amounts of dust and gas, which not only brightens them but also floods the solar system with fresh plasma. By mid-October, the Sun will be surrounded by a veritable cloud of cometary debris, and this buildup culminates with the approach of the heavyweight of the season, 3I Atlas, which reaches perihelion on October 29th. Unlike the others, 3I Atlas is not just another icy traveler from the Oort cloud, it is an interstellar visitor, a wanderer from beyond our solar system, possibly ejected from a distant star hundreds or even thousands of light years away. Its trajectory brings it just inside Mars's orbit before sending it back into the galaxy. But what it leaves behind is equally fascinating. As it nears the Sun, its immense coma continues to grow, releasing CO2, dust, and ionized gas that interact with the Sun's magnetic field. This could make late October one of the most electrically dynamic periods of the decade, as Earth, the Sun, and multiple comets become linked through invisible magnetic and plasma currents. For sky watchers, this means the potential for brighter than expected comet tails, and perhaps even naked eye sightings. While for scientists it means a rare opportunity to watch the solar system's electromagnetic environment respond in real time to a cosmic swarm. Of all the comets in this remarkable 2025 swarm, C-2025 A6, Lemon, is shaping up to be the showstopper. Astronomers are already calling it the brightest of the group, with its perihelion set for November 8th, when it will swing within 0.53 astronomical units of the Sun, just inside the orbit of Venus. If predictions hold, Lemon could reach a brightness of magnitude 3 to 4, making it potentially visible to the naked eye under dark skies. Unlike many comets that fizzle out before their closest approach, Lemon has continued to grow in brightness at a rate that suggests it may even overperform. Its dust production is significant, giving it a broad, sweeping tail that could become a striking feature in the November sky. For sky watchers in both hemispheres, this may be the comet of the decade. A ghostly visitor whose appearance coincides with an already heightened period of solar activity. But brightness is only part of the story. Comet tails, whether dust or plasma, are not static. They are delicate electromagnetic streamers, constantly being reshaped by the solar wind, the stream of charged particles flowing outward from the sun. During periods of intense solar activity, when the Sun unleashes a coronal mass ejection, CME. The effect on a comet can be dramatic. The CME's magnetic field sweeps past the comet and can cause what astronomers call a tail disconnection event, literally severing the plasma tail and leaving it adrift in space. The comet then grows a new tail within hours or days, creating an eerie display that looks almost like the comet is shedding its ghostly appendage. This phenomenon has been observed multiple times before, most famously with Comet Enki and Comet Lovejoy, both of which experienced complete tail disconnections during strong CMEs. These events are not just visually stunning, they also act as natural probes of the Sun's magnetic environment, allowing researchers to study the structure and strength of the CME as it passes. If Lemon reaches its projected brightness, and if solar activity continues to climb toward its expected solar maximum peak in 2025 to 2026, there is a very real chance we could witness multiple tail disconnections within a matter of weeks. For astronomers, this is a gold mine of data, an opportunity to study cometary plasma physics under real-time solar storm conditions. For the rest of us, it is a reminder that comets are not passive ice balls silently drifting through space. They are alive in a very real sense, reacting, twisting, and reshaping themselves under the invisible hand of solar energy. November could give us one of the most dramatic natural light shows in recent memory, a cosmic interplay between fragile icy wanderers and the raw, explosive power of the sun. Among all the objects in this cosmic parade, 3I Atlas remains the most mysterious, and perhaps the most scientifically important. Recent measurements reveal that its coma, a vast cloud of CO2 gas and plasma, spans nearly 700,000 kilometers, making it almost half the diameter of the Sun. For comparison, Earth's diameter is just 12,700 kilometers, 
meaning this interstellar traveler is wrapped in a sphere of activity dozens of times larger than our entire planet. And yet, at its heart, lies a nucleus whose true size remains unknown. Current estimates suggest anything from 5 to 46 kilometers across, but its brightness and gas output seem unusually high for a comet of that size. This mismatch is one of the reasons astronomers are so captivated. 3i Atlas might be revealing something fundamentally new about the kinds of objects that wander between the stars. Even its orbit is intriguing. Unlike most interstellar objects, which often come in at steep angles to the plane of the solar system, 3i Atlas is tilted by only about 5 degrees off the ecliptic. This means it is passing through the same region of space where the planets and most comets reside, giving us an unusually long observational window. For the first time, astronomers can track an interstellar comet's interaction with the solar wind and the heliospheric current sheet as it moves through the inner solar system. The data from this passage could help refine our models of cometary outgassing, plasma behavior, and even the chemistry of planet-forming material around other stars. But the most fascinating part of 3i Atlas's story hasn't happened yet. In early 2026, O Earth will cross its debris trail, the stream of dust and ice particles shed by the comet during its passage near the sun. Normally, when Earth crosses a comet's trail, it produces a meteor shower, but with an interstellar object like this, we have no precedent. Its particles could be made of exotic ices, carbon compounds, or silicate grains, unlike anything seen from local comets. Some scientists speculate that such debris streams might even carry prebiotic molecules, the building blocks of life, giving us a rare chance to sample material from another star system without ever leaving Earth. For planetary defense experts, there is also caution. Even small fragments of an interstellar object traveling at tens of kilometers per second could release enormous energy if they hit Earth's atmosphere. Most will burn up harmlessly, but monitoring networks will be watching closely in 2026 for any unusually bright fireballs or meteors. In a very real sense, 3i Atlas is bringing us a gift from another world one that could answer some of our deepest questions about the origin of life, but also remind us just how dynamic and unpredictable our cosmic neighborhood can be. As October turns into November, observational tools will become our eyes in the firestorm. Instruments like SOHO's C3 coronagraph and NASA's STER EO spacecraft are capable of blocking out the blinding light of the sun allowing us to watch as these comets approach perihelion. This is how we have captured breathtaking images of past sun grazers, tiny fragments plunging toward the sun, often disintegrating in their final moments. If 3i Atlas brightens as expected, we may witness its massive coma shimmering against the solar corona, a sight we've only rarely seen with objects of this scale. Space-based coronagraphs can reveal tail disconnections, plasma shocks, and dust jets invisible to ground-based telescopes, giving scientists a front-row seat to the raw physics of a comet interacting with solar magnetism. For the public, this will be an unprecedented opportunity to watch the drama unfold almost in real time. Many of these spacecraft make their data publicly available, meaning that anyone with an internet connection can track 3i Atlas day by day. If the comet behaves unexpectedly, suddenly flaring in brightness, shedding fragments, or producing a spectacularly long tail, the world will witness it together. This is the modern equivalent of what our ancestors saw when they looked up and beheld a comet blazing across the heavens. An omen, a sign, a reminder that the cosmos is alive. And that is where the conversation often turns from the purely astronomical to the deeply human, Across cultures and centuries, comets have never been seen as mere icy snowballs. They have been messengers, sometimes of disaster, sometimes of renewal. The sudden appearance of a comet in the night sky has coincided with wars, plagues, revolutions, and great turning points in history. Whether this is coincidence or something deeper is a question that lingers. Some spiritual traditions see these cosmic visitors as symbols of purification as if the heavens themselves are sweeping away the old to make room for the new. Modern thinkers have even drawn parallels between these celestial events 
and collective shifts in consciousness. Just as a comet's tail is shaped by invisible solar winds, human history may be shaped by invisible forces, cycles of energy, resonance, and awakening that we barely understand. Could the arrival of a rare interstellar object like 3 Eye Atlas, a traveler from beyond our sun, mark not just a scientific milestone, but a turning point in how we see ourselves in the universe? Could it spark a new sense of unity, a new wave of curiosity, or even a collective realization that we are part of something far larger than our small world? We may never know for sure, but this season's parade of comets is a chance to pause and reflect, to look up, to feel that ancient sense of wonder. Science tells us what these objects are. Ice, dust, plasma, but perhaps they also remind us of what we are. Temporary travelers ourselves, passing through the cosmos, leaving trails of light and meaning in our wake. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the comet swarm and the mysteries of 3 Eye Atlas, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Oblivion Theory, and share it with someone who loves cosmic mysteries. The coming months could bring sky shows, electromagnetic storms, and maybe even meteor displays that no human alive has ever seen before. Let's witness them together. Turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive, because the universe is just getting started.